What's up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist, and I'm back at it again, giving you 40 facts on the vehicles of the Warhammer universe. And I am excited because today, we are talking about the Forge World vehicles of the Tau Empire. So let's get ready to dive into this Xenos lore. The Manta, also known as the Manta Missile Destroyer, is a super heavy vessel used by the Tau Empire for the transportation of whole hunter cadres. A rank of Kor Ui is sufficient enough to pilot it. On the borderline between an attack craft and a full starship, these small spacecraft are useful in varieties of roles. In space, they used to attack enemy starships and are a match to entire squadrons of Imperial starfighters. During planetary assaults, they function as dropships and heavy fire support for Tau ground forces. Alongside ballistic suits, these are the Tau's equivalent to an Imperial Titan or an Orc Gargant. The Barracuda Barracudas are most commonly used by the Tau to intercept enemy fighter squadrons that are assaulting Tau ground forces. They attack enemy air transports and their fighter escorts on their way to the front and escort Tau transports such as the Orcas and Mantas as they deploy their hunter cadres. Barracudas are also commonly tasked with carrying out ground attacks in direct support of hunter cadres and providing overall air support for Tau ground forces in combat. Barracudas often strafe and harass enemy troop movements and also disrupt enemy supply lines and bases, which was common during the Taros campaign. Barracudas are also capable of operating in the hard void of space, where they fulfill their attack craft role for the Tau Navy. Barracudas can be transported through interstellar space travel via larger warp-capable carrier vessels such as the Custodian, the Protector, and the Emissary-class starship. The Barracuda is armed with a nose-mounted, pilot-aimed ion cannon. This is the aircraft's primary weapon for use in dogfights, backed up by two drone-controlled burst cannons in the wings which can also be used as effective anti-infantry weaponry during long strafing runs. For ground attacks, the Barracuda is armed with wing-mounted missile pods built into the chassis and it can also carry an additional armament up to four seeker missiles, which are not controlled by the pilot but by marker light operators on the ground. Barracudas are also equipped with a targeting array is a standard for improved accuracy. Within different aircraft SEPs, there have been different operating systems. Some are equipped with black sun filters for night fighting, while others have disruption pods and decoy launchers for additional protection. The Tau Tetra. Tetras are lightweight, fast, anti-gravity scout speeders used by the Tau Empire. They excel in roles of reconnaissance and long-range infiltration. It is piloted by two Tau Pathfinders, and it is lightly armed and not designed for direct engagement. It is a support unit, and it is extremely effective, utilizing its high-intensity marker lights to guide Tau firepower to its enemies. The Tetra is armed with a twin-link pulse rifle. The high-intensity marker light, a marker beacon, and a disruption pod. For MERS survivability, it uses decoy launchers, sensor spines, and targeting arrays. The DX-6 Remora Drone Stealth Fighter These stealth fighters are efficiently designed as a DX-6 Remora, which means it is a light, unmanned drone fighter recently developed by the Tau Empire's Earthcast. It is packed with advanced Tau technology. Remoras were first encountered by the forces of the Imperium of Man, during the Tau's raid on the Imperial Pino mining colony of Typha IV. The Remora is a stealth drone aircraft that commonly flies in support of Pathfinder and stealth suit teams on scouting and reconnaissance missions. Remoras are also used to disrupt and scatter enemy troops while singling out and destroying enemy targets of strategic value such as command vehicles and enemy support vehicles with their seeker missiles. Remoras are also capable of operating effectively in support of air cadres in dogfighting with enemy aircraft. Remoras are capable of operating in either full flight or anti-gravity skimmer mode in combat, 
giving them great versatility in their deployment and tactical movements. However, while in full flight, the aircraft relies on aerodynamic principles to make it aloft at a speed of over half of its cruising speed of 18,000 kilometers per hour. They are usually armed with the twin-linked long-barreled burst cannons as their primary gun, allowing them to target infantry from long ranges effectively. They also carry two Sikir missiles which can be fired upon targets designated by marker lights. The Remora's sleek design is very effective to keep them out of danger. This design also allows them to hide itself from enemy sensors and also become all but invisible once their field is activated. It is because of the stealth field capacity that Remoras have a valuable tool in scouting and ambushing enemy forces while it remains unseen. The Orca The Tau Navy's Orca dropship is a dedicated armored orbital transfer shuttle for ferrying Tau troops, equipment, and supplies from Tau starships in orbit to a planet's surface. Unlike the Space Marine Thunderhawk gunship, or the town's own far larger Manta, the Orca is not a frontline combat vehicle and is only equipped for self-defense. This is because its primary function is transporting troops, which usually takes place well away from any fighting. Orcas are well armored for their role and utilize the same known nanocrystalline alloy that is also used in many other Tau vehicles and aircraft. Utilizing the Tau's anti-gravity technology, and powered by quad ramjets, the Orca is also fast and highly maneuverable despite its size and bulky appearance, allowing for a more rapid deployment of Tau troops. Orcas are generally equipped with twin-linked long barrel burst cannons and a missile pod purely for defense. They also have targeting arrays for increased accuracy when fighting and black sun filters for night vision, as well as disruption pods for more added protection. Orcas can hold up to the equivalent of 48 Tau Fire Warriors and their equipment, and 2-3 to three Orcas can transport an entire Hunter Cadre's worth of troops, drones, and battlesuits onto a planet's surface. The Tiger Shark AX-1-0 is a new experimental variant of the standard Tiger Shark fighter bomber. It is a dedicated ground attack aircraft that carries ferocious firepower and was developed in response to encounters with the Imperium of Man's Titans and Super Heavy Tanks. In field tests during the Taros campaign, it proved extremely effective at serving as a Titan Buster for the Tau military forces. However, this aircraft is large and cumbersome and is always also deployed as a fighter escort for its own protection. This is partially due to the AX-1-0's potent weaponry making it a priority target for the enemy pilots and anti-aircraft crews. This aircraft is armed with twin-linked heavy railguns, as well as twin-linked missile pods. A drone intelligence controlled burst cannon is also mounted on each wing to provide extra firepower. It also includes a network marker light and a load of up to six Seeker missiles. And with that, we have finished going through the Forge World vehicles of the Tau Empire. Let me know what other vehicles you wish for me to go and get information on. Will it be the Ancient Necrons? Or perhaps the Xenos Eldar? Just let me know in the description below and I'll get to it. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video to all your 40k loving friends. And also, we do have a Patreon page where a simple dollar you guys pledge to us helps us bring you more epic 40k content. I thank you for all the love and shares and likes for this channel guys. You guys are really awesome. And as always, you know me as the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I am signing out.